one of the greatest shows, not just within our culture, but to me, one of the greatest shows ever, one of the greatest sitcoms, Martin, came to an abrupt end in 1997, left a lot of fans with questions that, quite frankly, we thought we'd never get the answers to. Let's just call a spade a spade. That last season of Martin with Tisha Campbell playing the role of Gina and Martin Lawrence playing the role of Martin, not being in the same room on scenes, right? And we found out a couple weeks ago from Brumman that Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell were not even on set together during that last season. It was awkward. There was a lawsuit filed on Tisha Campbell's side, Flatfoot saying, you know, things happened between her and Martin that she did not like. We don't know exactly what happened, but for the first time, as Martin Lawrence is doing press for his upcoming movie with Will Smith, Bad Boys 3, we got a little bit of clarity. Like, Martin just doesn't do a lot of interviews, and he never opens that door about what happened on Martin. But for the first time in an interview with Essence and GQ, Martin opened up about what happened and what was the end all be all for the show Martin. He he was pretty much act straight up and down was the reason why Martin ended because of the lawsuit that Tisha Campbell filed against him back in around 1996, 1997. He said yes, because none of what he was accused of was true. It was a lot of bullshit and just whoever side it was, it was bullshit. The, the two never spoke about the lawsuit according to Martin. He said, we don't need to talk about something that just didn't happen. So I decided to walk away from the show. I just decided to end it. People said that I got canceled, but that wasn't the case. I just decided to end the show. Again, Tisha Campbell claims Martin uh, sexually harassed her. There was some verbal abuse, some threats, some battery as well. And the suit was settled out of court again back in November of 1996. Martin and Tisha have linked up since then. As of recent, we saw images and a video of the two leaving a restaurant. Martin said he loves Tisha, amidst her divorce. He said, I've seen her then and now, and now and then, always nothing but love. I have nothing but love for her, and I always have. You know, Martin went on to say, I called Tisha after her split from her longtime husband, Dwayne Martin, just to tell her. I knew things were going to be okay. And he went on to add that he had to step away uh, from TV back then. And he admitted that he had a coma. He said, I had to step back a little bit and get some time for myself. I was getting worn down a little bit. Scripts were just coming my way. I couldn't do anything. And I went through a coma and all of that stuff. If you remember the infamous story of Martin in California somewhere, running down the street with a gun in his hand, screaming, they're trying to kill me. A lot of reports that Martin uh, battled with drugs and faint in the 90s. Again, Martin didn't go into depths of what exactly he was dealing with that led him to having a coma, uh, but one can assume. Again, I'm so happy that Martin decided to open up and tell us a little bit. He flatfoot said, you know, it's because of the stuff with Tisha. That's why we ended the show. Thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted again. Martin, he lets us know what happened between him and Tisha Campbell during that very awkward last season of one of the greatest sitcoms ever. Martin! I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.